what's going on guys um this is your boy terabyte reacts here and i am back with another reaction here of not a super reaction of ippo i'm looking forward to seeing this new um move the improved dempsey role um as you can see from the last episode that we reacted to um episode nine he's trying to figure out um changing the rhythm um off the dempsey role because vorg absolutely destroyed him with that step back um you know see coming out of that blind spot take a half a step back boom i mean as i said before i mean he didn't have to hit him hard that's what i'm saying like as the coach told him he like dude he pulled a punch and you still was knocked out cold because a counter punch in that situation of him getting hit it wasn't as devastating when it came out when it came out to um when when he when he went up against ricardo when he sparred with ricardo ricardo didn't make him look that bad when he when he went for the dempsey role um because i think maybe because he wasn't trying to embarrass him too much because i think ricardo could have done the same thing to him um but it's just that it doesn't it didn't matter to ricardo if he was coming out of a blind spot he's just that good of a boxer where he could stand same place he didn't take a step back or anything he just had the timing down and he was just he was just jabbing the shit out of him so that was pretty interesting to see so now him figuring out why the coach was telling him hey you need to train your lower body stuff like that is because and he un also understand that this is a possibility that he could shorten his his boxing um lifespan so he i don't know as i said as i titled my last reaction this is going to hurt because this is going to hurt i just know that this is going to hurt H him changing speeds and momentum while doing that it is going to hurt it's just like how um i don't know this is so it is so weird to me because now i'm having this this problem i think i i think i pulled something under my my right um under my right shoulder like right there like under um on my back i know it's not an internal injury because it just it's just muscle pain you know what i'm saying i know it's just muscle pain or i don't know i'm gonna have to go and check it out so if you guys don't get any more reaction after today um please forgive me to be honest because i have to go check out to see um to make sure that it's not something internal that you know that happened to me um then i didn't get hit or anything it was just like i just started feeling this pain from after i did something very strenuous so i think i pulled something so i'm definitely trying to figure out what's going on with that um i didn't take any painkillers before i did this reaction because i didn't want to be loopy i'm um, trying to talk i want to concentrate a bit the pain is not so bad right now but if i move too sudden is it really hurts or if it's um or if i like try to lift up my right arm like it hurts a little bit um but it's like my right side is kind of shut down right now so i'm trying not to make any sudden moves if i laugh if i cough it hurts it's just you know what i mean so it's just one of those pain i'm hoping that it's not something wrong with my lung god i'm hoping i'm praying that it's not something that's wrong with my lung because that would not be okay right now um so I'm definitely, definitely um, looking forward to these episodes that we are going to react to. I'm going to try to do as much as possible right now. Hopefully, I can get up to four this time instead of three. So, let's go. Let's get it done, man. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hit that link and let's go watch this episode, man. Let's go. All right, we are here once again for another Ippo reaction. Um, this was episode 10 through 13, I think. Um, yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. So we did four episodes, and it was awesome, man. I have to say it was 
this arc him going through all the the things he went through just to advance the Dempsey role was 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 something I didn't expect. I actually thought he was going to do it earlier in the fight, but man, he took a beating um just doing textbook stuff in the ring. Um and you you know, I wasn't getting super excited at first because I knew the fight was just getting started and for some reason I you know, I felt like um Saramora um was he was playing around you know what i'm saying like it just felt like he wasn't showing anything i was like but he was feeling out ippo you know until he really got ippo where he wanted which was sizing him up um till the meat got tender according to him um so he waited for that moment and then he started to go at ippo you know actually showing Ippo some respect by actually showing him his actual fighting stance. So that was pretty cool. He got the bullet and the thunderbolt uh, moves were pretty cool to see, even though I didn't like the guy, you know what I'm saying? He, I don't like his personality. Um, I think he's a sadist or, or something like that. I think he would, I think he's the type of guy he likes his stuff cooked, but he probably would eat it raw. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's crazy to think that this this um, guy or to think he's a good guy because he's he's not he's not a good guy or and it's not that he's being steered wrong. I just feel like maybe he's he's felt alone all his life and then finding out that not even the one person that he always looked up to um, didn't want him to win the fight either. So that was pretty disappointing for him but then when he got into the ring i mean seeing the type of fighter that ippo is man ippo doesn't give up he doesn't give up and that, as you can see going on the ippo side um he was the from the first dempsey role he tried to stop and got hit that one shook him a lot um you know till he, he was basically just tapping the dude you know, the first time he got countered. Then the second time, you can see that he was trying to get the timing down of the counter to to um to to be able to stop before a certain point in the punch. So when he got it down, the the the, the um what is it? The third time he did the Dempsey roll, or was it um yeah the third time when he did it, he actually slipped it and hit him one time, and it was a down, right? Um, so he persevered through that and then was putting on the pressure, man, every time this dude hit, he hit, um, some, what is it? Samawura or Sawamura? Is it Sawamura? Yeah. Every time he hit a dude, you could feel it, man. I love the sound effects. Sound design in this anime is always on point, except for the fact that they won't bring back my favorite OST from season one. But I, I, you know, I, I like this one too. The, 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 the orchestral role. I like, I like that one, but it's not, it's not as good as the one from the, from the first season. Like, so I'm, I'm just wondering why they have, they didn't bring it back. Like it would have been so cool to hear that during that last Dempsey role when he stopped both times, man, that would have been off the chain you know what i'm saying but it was a good fight no doubt about it him stopping that one time and then he saw um Samuel, he thought he had it but he didn't um and then he went for the punch and and Ippo slipped it and was like and he came back up again he was gonna chop him again and he stopped again and i was like yeah now you're dead you're a dead man because you're not going to next one is not gonna be because once you extend that punch Right. Once he extend that sponge, you're wide open. You're wide open. You're off balance and everything. And now I'm coming from your blind spot. And it's over, buddy. So Ippo got him and, and it was game over. It was game over. I think Ippo hit him at least 15 times. We got like three of them. It was like three of them in slow motion. And then it was a barrage. You know what I'm saying? So. So it, it, it's just awesome to see, man, how the growth of Ippo as, and thank God he didn't do a lot of damage as confirmed by the, the, um, the therapist, um, the doctor lady. Um, so it's confirmed by her that he, thank God he, 
e stop before um he did too much damage to his knees and ow and his waist so that was pretty awesome to see um um to hear i mean to hear that he did not damage anything so um but of course this is not something and and i'm happy um, of course, this is not something that he's going to be able to use continuously. He's going to have to figure out something to to um, to perfect this move because he can't continue to. It's kind of like reminds me of. Um, um, I like to bring up Naruto because when Naruto learned the Rasen Shuriken, right? When he learned the Rasen Shuriken, the first time he used it, it destroyed his arm. It destroyed his arm. It didn't take his arm off but it destroyed the cells in his arm so because of the nine tails enemy was able to heal but sonade forbid him from using it so it be basically became a forbidden jutsu because of the harm it did to you right but once he learned how to be a sage um he practiced how to throw the rasa and shuriken so he doesn't have to connect directly so when it hits it's not Con he doesn't his arm doesn't get caught in the blast you get what i'm saying so so that's the great thing about um him so that i would call him perfecting the ross and shuriken um in and and also um when it comes on to the dempsey role he's gonna have to figure out a way to do this without him hurting himself because if he can't use it or if every time he uses it, it's going to cause this much damage. You know what I'm saying? He could be possibly using it at one point and, you know, lose because he can't turn. You get what I'm saying? So you don't want, I don't want that to happen to him. I want him to, he has to learn a way to do, to do this and perfect the Dempsey role. We can say it's a perfect Dempsey role that not, not no infighter, no outfighter, no counter puncher can I mean, Miata is looking at him like, God damn, this dude, bruh, come on, man. Like, I thought I had you. And that's the thing, like, he's looking at it and he's like, man, that could have been me on the mat right now. Like, no joke. You know what I'm saying? They had to take dude out on a stretcher. He has a skull fracture and a sunken eye. So, man, I don't know if you guys understand how hard somebody has to punch you to fracture your skull like that ain't no joke okay you gotta get because he he never hit the mat not even one time so you can't say it's the mat because he his head never hit the mat once he never fell back on 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 the mat not even one time every time he got punched over he landed a certain he landed a certain way this time even aoki was making the um the last time he he, he he knocked him down um even aoki was making fun of how he how he landed so that's what i'm saying he got punched and got his skull fractured like the amount of force you have to hit somebody with somebody out there must be able to tell um must be able to tell me the amount of force it take you know those power scalers out there <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, can probably tell me how much force it takes to actually fracture a human skull from a from a punch. That is ridiculous. I know it takes a whole lot of force. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like possibly like dropping a cinder block on somebody's head or hitting somebody with a freaking sledgehammer. Like it's it's probably on that same level or maybe a little bit less. You get what I'm saying? But it's crazy. It's a crazy amount of force. I know that much. But this was pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, man, this super reaction was definitely one to definitely enjoy. I know you guys was waiting on this fight, so I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction of it. I was really trying to hold back. Um, a couple of times I laughed, I coughed, and man, that pain, bro. And I was trying to hold the emotions inside, man, but I I couldn't. You know, I gotta te I gotta get my boy Ippo, let him know that I'm there with him in the stands, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I I'm rooting for him you know um you know the thing the greatest the, one of the greatest qualities that ippo has is that the people that he has beaten um which you can go down the list miata sendo the people that matter sendo mashaba that still you see their faces every now and then vorg vogue 
I don't know if it's Vorg or Volg because they keep calling him Volg in this um this season when he came back and it was like is it Vorg? I'm pretty sure it was Vorg before. So they keep calling him something else. But as you go down that list, you realize that all these people at this point they really look up to Ipo. They really look up to him because they understand his fist was grown in the gym, as as you see Sendo was talking about. His fist was grown in the gym. Everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had this street mentality. They're coming from the street. They used to beat up people. They used to get into fights on the streets. I'm talking about Miata. Miata is a little bit different because he's been a, a prodigy since, he's, since, since he was a kid because his father has been training him to be a boxer since he was a kid. You know what I mean? So, him... Um, I would love to see them explore more the relationship between Miata and Takamura. Like, we don't get enough of that. We know that they kind of um, grew up together in the gym, in a way. You know what I'm saying? But they they should explore a lot more. We saw a little bit of it when he was fighting Hawk, where Miata was like, Miata was really excited for him. Because they grew up, they're like, they're like big brother, little brother. You know what I mean? So... I know that Miata looks up to him like a big brother. So, um, so in a way, you know what I'm saying? I would love to see them explore that relationship a little bit better. Hopefully they do it in the manga and you can get to see that. Cause I like to see character development in a certain way. When you see certain things, like when a writer is trying to create chemistry between two characters and stuff like that, it's, you know what I'm saying? You can see it, you can feel it. You want more of it. So I want to see that some more. So, Man, this was such a great arc. Such a great arc, man. One of the best, definitely, in Ippo. Um, I, I don't think this fight is as good as the Takamura versus Hawk fight. I don't think so. It was great to see Ippo um, advance the Dempsey role into a new new meaning, new era. You know what I'm saying? So every boxer is like, gosh, shit. God damn it, man. Every time I think this dude... I figured this dude out. He comes up with something. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's awesome to see, man. So thank you guys for watching once again, man. Hopefully I'll get these out to you guys tomorrow and you'll be happy. So look out for these in the morning. Of course, usually it should be. Um, So I have the rest of the stuff ready. So thank you guys for watching, man. As always, remember to subscribe if this is your first time watching also leave a like on this video leave a comment in the comment section man i highly appreciate everything you guys do on this channel thank you guys for watching once again it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace